Okay, welcome to day two of our solar system unit of notes. Let's begin. Our unit is the solar system. Our topic, today we're going to talk about the outer planets of the solar system. Day 204, you're going to learn some facts about the outer Jovian planets today. Learn a little bit about them. You will be able to compare and contrast the major differences between the inner and outer planets. What's the difference between the inner planets we talked about on our first day of notes and the outer planets we're going to talk about today? And today we're going to learn the true scale of the solar system. Okay? And the quick write, in your own words, answer one of the questions below in one to two sentences. Can humans walk on planets like Jupiter and Saturn? Why or why not? How long do you think it takes Jupiter to go around the sun? A Jupiter year. What do you think Saturn's rings are made of? Okay. Pause this if you need be. You can always pause this uh, video anytime you like if you need more time or you need to go back and review something. Okay. Here we go. So, Jupiter. We've left Mars. We're in the outer planets now. Jupiter. It's the largest and fifth planet from the sun. It's composed mostly of hydrogen, helium, some ammonia, methane, that blue gas that comes out of the stove, and water vapor. But like I said, mostly hydrogen and helium. It has a continuous swirling storm known as the red spot seen right here. Okay, it's the swirling red spot storm here. It has 16 moons or satellites. One Jupiter year equals 11.9 Earth years. So on about your 12th birthday, Jupiter has gone around the sun once. A Jupiter day, it spins on its axis. Okay, all the way, it spins all the way around on its axis in about 9.8 Earth hours. So it spins very, very fast. Okay. This is Jupiter's swirling gassy storms captured by the NASA Voyager spacecraft as it zoomed by many years ago. It took pictures of Jupiter and this is what it captured. This is actual footage of Jupiter's swirling storms captured by the Voyager spacecraft. All right, here we go. It has four moons. There's Io, Ganymede, Europa, and Callisto. All of these moons are very interesting to scientists because they're all unique. Some have ice and volcanoes and whatnot. Okay, here we go. So Saturn, on to the next planet. Out past Jupiter is Saturn. Okay. It's the ringed planet most of us are familiar with. Rings are made up of rock, dust, and ice particles. It's the second largest planet next to Jupiter. It has the lowest density. So low it would float in water. Remember, this is a gassy planet. Gas is, has a very low density. So Saturn has the lowest density, less than one. It would float in water. Its density is less than one. So therefore it would float in water. Like Jupiter, Saturn's atmosphere is made mostly of hydrogen and helium. It has 18 moons or satellites. One Saturn year equals about 30 Earth years. So on your 30th birthday, Saturn will have gone around the sun once. It spins very fast, just like Jupiter. In about 10 hours, it has did a complete rotation on its axis. It spun a complete rotation in about 10 hours. So Saturn and Jupiter spin very, very fast. Ours is 24 hours, right? Okay, so here as Voyager flew by Saturn's, you can see some of Saturn's swirling storms on its surface here. These are swirling gases, okay, of hydrogen and helium. All right, our next planet, Uranus. Uranus, what do we know about Uranus? Well, Uranus, like Saturn, has rings, okay? Its atmosphere is composed mostly of hydrogen, helium, and methane. Okay, the methane color gives the planet its bluish green color. The unique thing about Uranus is that its axis of rotation, the planet rotates or spins tilted on its side compared to other planets which rotate nearly north to south or perpendicular up and down, right? So, but Uranus spins tilted on its side. One Uranus year 
is 84 Earth years, so it takes Uranus 84 years, Earth years, to go around the sun once. Okay? These rings show that Saturn spins on its side here. So Saturn is spinning tilted on its side, not perpendicular up and down, but side to side. Here is an artist's picture of what it might be like, what the sun might look like, way out here where Uranus lies. Okay, here is Miranda's, or here is Uranus's cracked moon called Miranda, a picture of it. Okay, Neptune, the last planet in her solar system. It looks a little bit like Uranus, you might notice. Okay, just like Uranus, methane gives Neptune its blue color. Under its atmosphere, though, Neptune is believed to have possibly liquid water, which makes it even more of a bluish color methane and ammonia as well okay it has eight moons or satellites one neptune years equal to 184 earth years so a neptune years equal to 184 earth years so it takes 184 earth years for neptune to go all the way around the sun that's quite a while and a neptune day is about 18 hours Okay, here is an artist's version of what it might be like to pass through the gassy planet's atmosphere of swirling blue clouds and storms. Okay, all right. So, for your notes, this goes in the question section of your notes. I made a table of all the important stuff I want you to know about our solar system and the outer planets. Please read this first. Okay. Fill in the blanks here by using the answer bank. Determine which word best completes the sentence. Okay, these words go in your answer bank section of your notes up above. Okay, so pause this video and please write this down and record your answer bank words, please. So, the solar system to scale. Well, let's say we were to put all the planets close together. Well, this is the size of the Sun compared to Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. So the Sun is massive. It makes up 99.86% of all the mass or stuff in our solar system. Okay, so most of the mass in our solar system is the Sun. The Sun's gravity holds all the planets in orbit. So... All right, we're gonna take a trip through the solar system at 300 times the speed of light, very fast. The universe is mostly empty space. The distances be between the planets, okay. Sorry, the universe is mostly empty space. The distances between the planets are so vast they are hard to imagine. To make things easier, we are going to travel through our solar system at 300 times the speed of light. So the planets are gonna pass by in order here. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. These, the inner planets are close together, so they are fast. Out past Mars, though, here's Jupiter. The distances between the planets get very, very big. So here comes Saturn coming up. Out past Saturn is Uranus, and Uranus is way, way out there. Remember, we're traveling at 300 times the speed of light and we're gonna pretend the planets are all lined up. Okay, there's Uranus. The fastest spacecraft can travel about 20 kilometers a second. That would take us about 10 years to get to the edge of the solar system. Even light, the fastest thing in our universe, takes five and a half hours to get beyond our solar system. There and there's Neptune. Okay, so the outer planets are really far apart. Okay, so once again, this is the question. Here's your answer. Read it, determine which word goes in the answer bank by using the answer bank here. And not go ahead and pause the video, please. I'm gonna move on. Okay. So, the motions of the planets. You might notice here, the inner planets are going around fast. We say they have high orbital velocities. 
the outer planets have low orbital velocities, which means they orbit the sun very slowly. So the inner planets okay, have high orbital velocities, and the outer planets have low orbital velocities. Okay, So there you have it. The inner planets go around the sun fast, the outer planets go around the sun very slow, and they're very far apart. Okay. So the inner terrestrial planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, as we've already learned. What do these planets have in common? Well, they're smaller and closest to the sun. They're rocky and therefore more dense. They orbit the sun faster. We say they have high orbital velocities. They're made mostly of rock, which is made mostly of iron and silica. When you pick up a piece of rock, you're picking up a lot of iron and silica. Okay. The outer gaseous planets, as we just learned, are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. These planets are larger and farther from the Sun. Okay, They're made of gas and therefore less dense. Right? Air is a gas. It has a very low density. They orbit the Sun slower. They have slow orbital velocities and they're made mostly of the gases, hydrogen and helium gases. Okay. All right. So the last one for your notes today is what is the difference between the inner and outer planets? Very important slide. Make sure you write all of it. Make sure you read it, determine which words go in the answer bank here and fill these words in on your notes. Okay. Pause the slide, pause this video when you're ready to write. Okay, your summary. Please, you're more than welcome to do your own summary. Write this one down. You can do mine, make your own. Either way, that summary box needs to be filled up. Okay, your summary box down below in your notes is worth 20 points and it needs to be completely filled up with words, pictures, whatever. Okay, so go ahead and pause this while you write. That concludes day two of notes, a bit shorter than the first day. And when you're all finished, go ahead and exit out of this YouTube video. Have a good evening.